Are you heading to Remax R4 in Las Vegas? This series is all about maximizing your experience in Las Vegas. So let's start from the very beginning. Where are we gonna stay? Oh, well, at the top of the list is first MGM Grand, mm. right? Why would you stay there? I love the MGM Grand because it is close to the casino and I like to gamble. Okay, cool. Well, and also that's where the convention is. So, I mean, <laughs> Of course, like we we definitely want to go to the convention while we're in R four for Remax R four, and um, the convention is there, so staying there is really super convenient. At the MGM, there are definitely a lot of options. Yeah. Definitely are. So you have the signature side, and you know that's a lot of suites. Uh, great rate though with Remax, I have to say. Mm -hmm. I got to stay there one year, and it's really close to where all the classes are during the convention and all the convention activities. So that's a plus. Mm -hmm. um, another area is um, the West Wing, which is really the West Wing. Like you're staying way on the other side. If you need your get your steps in every day. You I'm, can do that, but the rooms are typically smaller. Yeah, right? what I'm, you say. I would say the rates are better right? on the west on the west wing, but I'm not a fan. It's of Same. all the places. Um, not a fan. Of yeah, those I'm, either. I'm not a fan. The it feels like uh, the hall the the ceilings are a little bit lower and the hallways are a little bit darker. Yeah, and you you just have you just have a long way to walk. Right. You know, it's just it seems like it was an afterthought. It was an add on. But, you or know, maybe it was the first. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> that would have been before my time. So, you know, that's what I would say. Um, and then you've got the grand, which is kind of, that's kind of like the mid, right? You've got the signature, which is more the high end, higher end and nice little suite. And then you've got the grand towers and um, they have the stay well suites there. So mm -hmm. if you're very uh, sensitive to um, allergen, you know, if you've got allergies or you don't, you know, smoke bothers you and things like that, get a stay well room in uh, the Grand Towers. That's a great option. I always stay at a stay well suite if I can. Last year, uh, my brother went and uh, he stayed <laughs> in a suite in the Grand. It ranges from all sizes, really and truly. So you have lots of options at the MGM Grand right. and they have a lot of restaurants. Right. I mean, you really don't even have to leave. The signature side, they also have like uh, verbo rooms there. Right? Oh yeah, they do. And yeah, um, about that. yeah, so I think one of the big benefits of the signature side is that um, the a lot of the rooms have kitchenettes. Yes. They have little refrigerators. They have coffee pots. Um, and on the grand side, or you know, most of the hotels in Vegas, you do not have a coffee pot. So. If you're coming from the East Coast, my biggest recommendation is to bring a coffee pot. And um, I just usually will buy a little $10 coffee pot off of Amazon. Yeah. And um, and I always end up shopping while I'm in Vegas. And if, you know, if I need room in my suitcase, the coffee pot just stays and I buy another one on the next trip over. Yeah. So I highly recommend you pick up a coffee pot. Um, and some instant coffee maybe. Yeah, instant coffee. Um, I always bring tea, coffee, hot chocolate. Um, and then it just, uh, being around all that smoke and, you know, you're talking all day long, networking. Mm -hmm. It's just always good to have some something hot and soothing on your throat in the morning. Um, because most of the time the restaurants are not open. Um, the, you know, you're going to be up early if you're coming from the East Coast and mm -hmm. you're going to want some coffee and Starbucks might not be open yet. I know that when I wake up, I mean, that's the first thing I want is coffee in the morning and I wake up and nothing is open and right. I'm up at like four because we're three hours behind on the, on the East Coast. So I'm waiting for everything to open. And it's nice to not have to leave your room. Right. Get out of your bathrobe. <laughs> we are thing. styling, aren't we? I know it. I know it. Um, get out of your bathrobe or get out of your pajamas and have to go all the way down to Starbucks or somewhere um, and go get your coffee. Exactly. So it's, that is a great. That is a great tip. Nearby, there are other hotel options too. Mm -hmm. So, like right across the way, we have New York, New York. Yeah. You take the bridge and you go right into the. Um, back side of the the MGM Grand. Another close one nearby that's pretty reasonable is like Excalibur. Yes. That's a do, that's a doable one that's still walkable. Um, not a bridge, but I understand there's a bridge from Excalibur to New York, New York, and mm -hmm. then New York, New York to MGM, so you can connect the dots. It's an inexpensive alternative. Yep. It's, um, you know, some people like to stay a little bit farther away from the resort, 
just so they can have a little bit of a break. True. And um, for me, I'm always, like if you go to the awards booth and pick up your award, the, the awards are probably 10 pounds. I don't know. They're, yeah. They seem, they're so bulky and heavy. So at one point you have to go pick up your award. Um, you're going to go to marketplace. You're going to purchase things. You're just always carrying stuff. And to walk even farther away um, is, is um, cumbersome to me. So I always like to stay closer. Yeah. And it, it is, it is more convenient because that's where the convention is. Um, but of course people do like options. So I think those are some good mm -hmm. options that are very close. Right. Um, one, um, if you want, if maybe you stayed at the MGM way, way too many times mm -hmm. and you're ready for a change, one right. that is not too far, um, is Aria. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, and it's nice. It's nice. Um, been through the Aria, but, um, yeah, so that's another mm -hmm. option. And of course, um, there's, there's multiple ones down the strip that you could stay. Right. So, I just, I recently, well, give me the mic. Here, you have that. So I'm going to take a shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to choke this time. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Where did you recently stay? So I recently stayed at the Wynn Encore. I was oh, in Vegas yeah. for a mastermind. Okay. And um, we stayed at the Wynn Encore and it was nice. It was really nice. Mm -hmm. I have a video of the Encore too, but um, it's on the opposite end of the strip. It's down by Fashion Mall. I mean, it's it's really, a, it's, a, it's on the opposite end. So um, you probably wouldn't want to stay there, but um, I remember um, just like the, the, the cleaning folks would come in and, um, and they would leave Siri on with the music and oh, okay, yeah, that's nice. Every time I came in, Frank Sinatra was playing, and it was just it just had a whole different atmosphere in it. Now I want to stay at the Wynn. It's nice, and I hear so um, I hear that the Wynn buffet is the number one buffet in all of Vegas. Oh wow! And um, it's so popular. I'm not a buffet person, but I heard that it's so popular that you have to make a reservation at and the buffet for the buffet okay. and and you have to pay in advance. Okay. It's um, that I've popular. Heard, okay. I've it's heard about that popular. But I have not been there, so this is all hearsay. Okay. Well, I don't could, know. It you could be the tequila. <laughs> yeah. <here. laughs> GM Grand has I mean, at least a dozen restaurants that are, you know, very mm -hmm. high quality. Now, a lot of them, be 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 aware, a lot of them are only open for dinner. Mm -hmm. There are a few that are open for lunch and dinner, but, you know, lots of uh, lots of restaurants open for dinner. There's bars. I think the lobby bar is probably open at MGM Grand Lodge 24-7, I think, at this point. I think point. so, so yeah. But, you know, lots of places um, to, to gather and meet people afterwards. So, um, if you're looking to be entertained afterwards, MGM's got a lot of great stuff, and so do a lot of the other hotels. Mm -hmm, definitely. You know, I know New York, New York does, um, and Aria, so really, I think you can't go wrong where you stay. Right. Mm -hmm. I would say be sure to uh, make a decision if you haven't booked. Oh, yeah. Um, the, I know the, did you say the signature is already booked up with the, the Remax rate? Yes. If you're trying to get the Remax rate on the signature, that is, uh, you are out of luck. Um, mm. you can still book there. You're just going to be paying pre pretty much retail rate mm. staying there, um, instead of the Remax discount. I'm a member of their, uh, rewards program. If you gamble a little bit, you, you might get a free room next year. Oh yeah, you're good at that. You're really good at that. You're really good at getting getting a free room. So uh, talk to Lisa about that one. She'll give you all the tips. I'll but give you good tips. point. Yes. Yep. So we're curious. What tips do you have? Be sure to add them in the comments below. And we're really looking forward to seeing you yes. in Vegas. In Vegas. Woo! Cheers. Cheers.